Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear first order differential equation using an integrating factor. An integrating factor is a function that will multiply both sides of the equation by to help make solving the differential equation much easier. We're asked to find the general solution to the given differential equation. We're asked to enter the integrating factor mu of t here and then the general solution y of t. So the first step is to make sure the given differential equation is in the correct form, which is the form shown here dy dt plus p of t times y equals f of t. Comparing this form to the given differential equation, this is the term where we have a function of t times y, so it needs to be on the left side of the equation. So the first step is to add two ty to both sides of the equation. So the given differential equation must be written in the form dy dt plus two ty equals four times e raised to the power of negative t squared. It's important that we have it in this form before we identify p of t, which in this case, we have p of t equals two t. Step two is to find the integrating factor, which is mu of t equals e raised to the power of the integral of p of t dt. So mu of t, the integrating factor, is equal to e raised to the power of the integral of Again, p of t equals two t, so we have the integral of two t dt. So the integral of two t with respect to t would be two times t squared divided by two, or just t squared. So we have e raised to the power of t squared. We don't include a constant of integration when finding mu of t. So looking at our question again, we now know that mu of t equals e raised to the power of t squared. Now step three, the next step, is to multiply both sides of the differential equation in this form here by mu of t, which means to we'll write this equation in this form here. So on the left side we'll have e raised to the power of t squared times dy dt plus two t times mu of t, which is e raised to the power of t squared times y equals, on the right side we'd have e raised to the power of t squared times four e raised to the power of negative t squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this right side. Notice how when we multiply e raised to the power of t squared and e raised to the power of negative t squared, we would add the exponents. t squared plus negative t squared is equal to zero. So we have e to the zero times four, e to the zero is equal to one, one times four is four. Now step four, we need to recognize the left side of this equation here is the derivative of the product of mu of t, the integrating factor, and y. So this left side is now equal to the derivative with respect to t of the integrating factor, which is e raised to the power of t squared times y. We should always check this. Notice how to find this derivative, we'd apply the product rule, but we'd have the first function, e raised to the power of t squared, times the derivative of y with respect to t, which is dy dt, plus the second function, which is y, times the derivative of e raised to the power of t squared, which would be e to the power of t squared times two t, which verifies this sum is a derivative of this product. So our last step is to integrate both sides of the equation and solve for y. Let's do this on the next slide. So we'd have the integral of the derivative with respect to t of e raised to the power of t squared times y dt equals the integral of four dt. Now on the left side, the integral and derivative undo each other and we're just left with e to the power of t squared y. We would have a constant of integration, but we'll also have one on the right side, so we'll only include it on the right. So we have e raised to the power of t squared y equals the integral of four with respect to t would just be four t, so on the right we have four t plus a constant of integration, which we'll call plus c. And now to solve for y, we would divide both sides of the equation by e raised to the power of t squared. So simplifying on the left, we just have y or y of t equals on the right, let's go ahead and write this as four t times e raised to the power of negative t squared. Remember, if we move this exponential term up to the numerator, 
it changes the sign of the exponent. And let's write the second term as plus c times e raised to the power of negative t squared. So this is the general solution to the given differential equation. So again, going back to our first slide, we've already entered the integrating factor here, and now we want to enter y of t, the general solution. So again, we had y of t equals four t times e raised to the power of negative t squared plus c times e raised to the power of negative t squared. I hope you found this helpful.